think the key thing for Microsoft is we're focusing on democratizing AI for everyone. So making it available, whether it's for consumers, large enterprises, small businesses, and for their end users as well. And really creating a number of tools that make it easy for everyone to jump in. Whether it's our cognitive services and other platform tools that let anyone just take our focus from AI from the number of years and just take it and be able to implement it all the way through to really deep solutions. So I think those are, are really key. And then we also try to, imp to uh, put AI into everything that we do. So we infuse it into to, uh, products that are already there that aren't necessarily AI and it's almost like we soup them up with AI. So PowerPoint, for example, you'd never think of that as an AI solution, but AI is put into it and now you can create beautiful presentations with a click of a button. I'm not very visually, spatially creative and I can make absolutely stunning PowerPoint just with AI and I think if you interpret that to many, many other areas of business, it makes AI really easy for everyone to consume. I think one of my favorites is around healthcare. Just think everyone has someone or knows someone with health issues and to know that the rate of finding cures or targeting what they have in a much faster and more precise way saves people time, it saves them a lot of money from testing and hopefully cures a lot more people. So I think that is one area where I see a lot of opportunity with precision medicine and genomics. What Satya has been talking about, opportunity and responsibility. So there's the opportunity where we're at a time with AI that people now have the cloud computing that they need and they have these algorithms that AI is really permeating and I think it's a great opportunity for companies to jump in and and do really creative things with AI, but there's the responsibility and I think we at Microsoft take that really seriously to think, how do we take a really trusted approach? How do we think through issues like bias in data and really help educate and try and be a leader to ensure that what is getting created from government policy or what people are thinking of from the business perspective, that people are really thinking through the issues so we create a really good ecosystem for AI for the future.